attending church, the Smiths and the Remingtons stopped in. Soon they were sampling these warm, raising stones. And then everyone gathered around the piano to sing carols. Mrs. Remington said she didn't sing very well, but she sounded just fine to me. It's Mrs. Smith I wonder about. I'm sure she never sang quite so loudly if she knew how she sounded. Mama let Suzanne turn the pages, and she managed to knock the book off the piano every time. In spite of everything, though, it all sounded rather pretty. I'm sure God must love to hear people sing about him, even Mrs. Smith. Oh yes, even Mrs. Smith. But remember, the Bible always says to make a joyful noise to the Lord. Now, I know we can't all fit around the piano, but there's not a thing in the world from stopping us from pretending. So let's find our places and celebrate together by singing some of the old familiar carols. Would you stand and sing along with us? First of all, sing, Oh, come on you.
How exciting to sing those great and timeless songs of Christmas. What a shame, however, that in most of our world, carols are becoming a thing of the past. A good illustration of this occurred recently in Detroit when a local television personality asked some children about Christmas. He asked one little girl the name of her favorite Christmas carol. She replied, I only know two, Jingle Bells and Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeers. The saddest response, however, came when he questioned a young boy as to why we celebrate Christmas. The young boy paused, shrugged his shoulders and said, I don't know, they haven't told us yet. <laughs> they haven't told us yet, imagine celebrating Christmas and not even knowing why.